So You Can Play That Game is proudly sponsored by NiceGameShop.com, the place to go for rare and unusual Asian games. Hi, I'm Michael. Take a seat and I'll quickly tell you about Quantum by Funforge, a game that combines kind of abstract strategy game and wargaming with a thin veneer of sci-fi theme. The way this all works is you have ships that are dice and that's why this doesn't feel hugely thematic. Despite the rest of the artwork and powers kind of pulling it back into the theme, the simple fact of your ship being dice really detracts from it. But that's where it goes in towards the abstract idea, because your dice are different values, different powers, different strengths, different movement amounts. And it's about moving your dice of the right values to be next to planets first, to be able to place cubes out, and whoever can place their cubes out wins the game, which has a very abstract game feel to it. But then you also have war game and you move your ships into where your opponent ships are and then you have a battle and battles are really nice and easy and simple each player rolls a dice adds the result to their ship value who has the lowest wins that simple and you can destroy your opponent and if you destroy enough of your opponents your dominance goes up and you're able to place cubes and that helps you win the game it's really nice you've got this action selection mechanic where there's five actions you can choose from you're picking three to do a turn and you can do the same action multiple times but each ship can only do each action once each ship has its own special ability and you're able to change the values of your ships and therefore change their special abilities, change the tactics. Whatever your ships come out will really affect the tactics of what you're going for. And you're going to need to change your ship values in order to be able to place the quantum cubes. And then you've got the randomness balancing all of this strategy with regards to your battle results. And also you've got special power cards that although you start all the same, you're going to pick up new powers that mean you're different to your opponents. You've got this asymmetry there. The game has a huge amount of replay value because of that level of roundness, but also because of the level of roundness with the setup. And that is also what gauges this game's kind of scaling from player numbers. This plays fantastically well with all the different player numbers because it uses different maps for the different player numbers, but not just for the different player numbers. Different maps give different feels to the game and a different kind of sometimes combat's better sometimes just rushing and exploring is better and you've got to go and gauge based on the map and based on however people are playing which will be better so there is a lot of strategy a lot of luck it's great fun it's lovely components yeah i think quantum is a great game it scales well it's huge replay value it's easy to learn and play but gives you a feel of a war game that would be much more big heavy meaty game in a short time period so that's my quick thoughts on quantum by funforge do you hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful if you have please do give it a like and share and also you know check out the rest of the videos on the channel and subscribe to the channel i suppose and as always thanks for watching and bye for now